Hey there, toy collector friends and Doctor Who fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Triple TC, that's the Time Travelling Toy Collector, and this is technically the last entry into the Parliament of the Daleks uh, collection. Uh, these are the last two from Box Set 2, uh, which I first started working my way through quite some time ago, and we've finally arrived at the last two. It's not technically the last video for this series because I do have... Uh, one or two additional Dalek related Eagle Moss products that I'm going to include as sort of bonus follow ups to the ones that we've looked at and talked about thus far. But yes, officially the Parliament of the Dalek, um, Parliament of the Daleks series box sets um, one and two end with these two. Uh, and they are, and I, it's, it's, it's almost poetic that they both sort of share each other's scarlety, crimsony. Um, colour coding, one being gold trimmed with silver and one being silver all the way around uh, in their trim. You may also remember one of these was damaged uh, when I opened the package uh, and I was very worried at the time that I wouldn't be able to fix it. As it transpired, I was able to fix it and um, I was able to reattach the, the damaged part, um, glued, and I'm not going to mention it again through this video just in case you can't spot where the repair was done um if you saw the very first video of this um box set then you'll know because you saw it when i was unboxing it you saw that you'll have seen the piece that was loose um so if you want to find out which piece it was you have to go back and watch that um otherwise you can have a look and see if you can spot the piece um on the on the injured on the that was on the injured Dalek that I have managed to repair myself, which by the way I was extremely proud of because I'm not very good at that sort of thing as a rule. Um, but anyway, let's get on to the main attraction. But just before we do, the obligatory request to like the video. It would be really helpful if you could. Really helps boost uh, boost me in the dreaded algorithm. And also, if you could drop a subscription to the channel, that would be fantastic. Um, it doesn't cost a penny. There's no Patreon. There's no any. There's no kind of um, commitment long term uh, or obligations on your part. It just really helps me reach my next milestone within my subscriber numbers, which would be, of course, fantastic if you could be a part of that. It also means you won't miss any of those future Dalek-focused videos that will be coming not too far in the future after these two are uh, after this video is is published which it must be, because here we all are looking at it. And that is why I'm a time-travelling toy collector. I'm talking to you from the future, but you've now caught up, or thereabouts. Right, enough of this insane waffle. Let's take a look at the first Dalek we're seeing today. And I will zoom in a bit more for the purposes of this. Um, this is the uh, Supreme Dalek. Um, and it's the Supreme Dalek as it appeared in the Stolen Earth and... Um, Journey's End. It did also appear in a Peter Capaldi series uh, episode, which I think was the Which is Familiar, if memory serves. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's a really, really nice uh, representation. Uh, they are quite weighty. I think I've mentioned this before, but all of them are quite weighty. Um, but the detailing is... I'm going to go even quite closer. I think the detailing is really nice. You've got that blue eye piece there. Um, with the with the retool the different sort of tooling for the eye stalk, you've got the three separate um, voice modulating alert lights. I don't know what to call them. I refuse to call them ears if there's three of them because that's uh, unless of course oh, I'm not going to say it. I am going to say it. So apologies. Unless of course that's the final frontier, but it's on the back, so that doesn't work, does it? Anyway, if you haven't clicked off this by now, well done, and I'm very amazed. Um, so that they do have usually stickers on the bottom, and I'll show you why it's usually in a moment and not all the time. Uh, Supreme Dalek, and there's the official code to show it's licensed. Um, and yeah, there is, unfortunately, with this, and it's a shame because it's a really nice model, as you can see. The lovely gold works really well with the red and the silver on the um, sort of the accessory arms and the gun. Um, but uh, there's quite a bit of paint bleed. I don't know if you can see that there, where the, where the gold and the, it's, it's just, un, it's a bit unfortunate. There's just a little bit of paint bleed there. Because to be honest, most of the rest of it has a really nice 
uh, attention to detail around the around the paint around the paintwork. Um, so yeah, it was it was a bit of a disappointment to see that. There are a couple of little other bits of paint bleed, a um, couple of little bits here and there on the on the orbs around the base section, um, but otherwise it's a really nice a really nice designed Dalek if such a thing exists, and I would have loved to have seen what these did because uh, uh, there's a real sense that they sort of ex extend outwards or lift the top off or goodness knows what they do, but they must be functional because Daleks don't do anything. It's not, you know, without some function. So I just love to know what they what they actually did, but we never found out yet. But it's never too late. Obviously, this is a static model. It doesn't have any moving parts. Um, it's part of the Hero um, Eagle Moss Hero Collection, um, Doctor Who figurine collection. Um, so it doesn't have any moving parts. Um, I've just picked up this, which is the Dalek drone. Um, which is from Victory of the Daleks and then a couple of other appearances thereafter um, from the new paradigm and I have to say <laughs> it's a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be it's pretty weighty um, and it's it, it, it has the design really nicely these have very strange shapes uh, they're, they're, some people cruelly said they had a hunchback I don't I, I see what they're saying but I don't really I, I don't get it because you know if this was the design back in the 60s, we'd all be accepting it completely. Um, I think the concept behind it was really good because this, I believe, was supposed to be an array of alternating weapons that could shoot up and then sort of move along here and replace the, the, the appendages at the front. So from a design concept, I think it's actually really clever. Um, some of the other paradigm uh, Daleks, such as the Eternal, um, I think probably specifically the Eternal. I'd love to have known what its function was or why it was called an Eternal Dalek. Because um, there was no indication given in the series. It may be somewhere in extended media, so if any of you are aware of it, by all means, please let me know. Um, you can kind of see, not really, I don't think I can go too much, too clo much closer without it not really holding. Um, they've done their best to sort of capture that eyeball scenario that the, the, the Paradigm Daleks had. So I'm quite pleased with how well they've they've done that. Um, again, the detailing on the weapon, quite good. Uh, and the uh, manipulator arm, oh, sorry, I lost you there. Manipulator arm. Um, again, the paint overall is quite, is really good. There's, you know, a little bit of paint bleed there on the surrounding portion, but otherwise it's really good. The slats, beautiful silver there. Um, you do get a sense of the, well, actually with this one, more with the Supreme Dalek over there, with this one, you don't get a sense of it being fragile. It is, don't get me wrong, these pieces will snap off, um, but uh, it it doesn't feel fragile. Um, so I, I think that's that in itself is really good from a figure point of view, um, but a stark reminder not to be fooled by that because you don't want to inadvertently snap bits off. Uh, there's the um, official stampage on the back of the, the Dalek there, down on the bumper part, which is um, nice because the bottom, unusually, um, has that sort of hover rolling um, detailing that you don't see on the other Daleks because, they, as I say, they have a sticker. So for the Paradigm drone, we've been given this additional bit of detailing, which I thought was a really, really nice touch. Um, yeah, so I was quite, I was quite surprised with that. But yeah, the, the paint bleed on this one significantly less to uh, the paint bleed on the Supreme Dalek. So let me pop this back up here. You can then see them sort of side by side. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a I, it's, it's a bit of a weird feeling for me to be perfectly honest because um, I've gone through. 20, 20 Daleks, 20, well, 20 Daleks plus the Emperor Dalek, um, which was gigantic. Um, and it feels weird, to be, to be perfectly honest, to come back, to sort of essentially be coming back to, the, to end this, uh, to end that sort of collection. And also, of course, we're not getting in, there are no more Eagle Moss Daleks out, well, to new Eagle Moss Daleks coming. Um, certain online stores are still carrying some of the old stock, 
Uh, my understanding is that the old stock will not be renewed. So uh, any new license holders, I could be wrong, but this is what I've understood. Any new license holders will not be able to reproduce the, uh, the, the, the Eagle Moss uh, collectibles, um, which I think is on one hand really disappointing because if, if there's a new company picking it up and there's scope to, uh, to offer these, it would be nice if they could. But on the other hand, I, I believe it's, it's motivated, as sadly as sometimes these things are, um, by the desires to keep the uh, collection that is out in the wild um, as collectible as possible now. So there are no redos, refreshes or re-releases -re of previous moulds, for example. However, uh, I do understand that we are going to see some brand new... Um, some brand new Doctor Who figures, uh, figurines. Um, obviously, as you probably are aware by this point, if you've been following uh, my Doctor Who figurine collection appreciations, you'll know that I don't tend to collect the actual uh, humanoid type uh, figurines. I mainly go for the uh, the act, the sort of the alien uh, monster robot ones. Basically, the Daleks and the Cybermen. I'm a bit old school in that respect um, because I think they look better. I think Eagle Moss did not do the best job, I'm afraid. Sorry, that's my opinion of the humanoid characters. I think the faces were all over the shop. Um, it was it was a bit uh, it was a bit of a, a hit and miss thing. Whereas and it's similar with other Eagle Moss products. If you watch some of my Star Trek starships um, uh, appreciations, you'll see the same there. Some of the paint. The tension to detail with the paint is not that great. Mo model quality overall is very good. It's only been what two or three that have been problematic out of many, many more. Um, but that tends to be the thing with the Doctor Who, with the Doctor Who uh, figurines, the the ones that are actually, you know, uh, supposedly more robotic alien types. They're able to do more justice with. It's that sort of, I suppose it's the uh, the achievement of getting a likeness, a facial likeness where it falls down and it's all a bit uncanny valley, but it's also a bit uh, unpleasant uncanny valley, if I'm brutally honest. And I will be, I will be. Um, but I really like the Daleks um, and I've had a lot of luck with the Dalek models that I've had so far. I'm really optimistic that what comes next um, continues to hold that torch. Um, I know they're going to, I think they're starting the figurine collection or the new figurine collection because I think it's, um, who is it that's doing it? Uh, I can't remember, it's, I knew a moment ago and now I've completely forgotten. Um, but whoever it is, um, I know they're launching with um, some TARDISes, some exterior, some police box TARDISes. I think it's the first Doctors, the 15th Doctors and the 4th Doctors. But one of them, I think, is a membership club, is a membership club only um, release at this stage. Uh, so that's sort of on my radar. I'm pondering whether or not to go after that line. Um, what I'm more excited for is the possibility that we get some more TARDIS consoles. Um, so I might do a bit of a revisit of the TARDIS consoles that I've already got um, in the hope that we see. I'm really hoping that we see the 11th Doctor's first console wasn't a favourite console of mine, but it was an interesting console and I'd love to see it in model form. Um, and of course the 14th and 15th Doctor's console, um, I'd love to see that. Um, and I think we may branch out into the likes of other Time Lords TARDISes, so the Master's got a couple of variants, the Rani has a couple of variants. Um, so it could be it could be an exciting time. I'm not saying that they're going to produce them. I don't have any inside track on that. Master replicas is what they're called. It's just come to me. I knew if I talked long enough, it would come back. So if anyone's already typed it in the comments, thank you very much. Um, Master replicas have got a, a, have got some sort of license arrangement where they are going to be producing um, Doctor Who stuff. So right there we are. That's all of the box sets of Parliament of the Daleks. Thank you very much for sticking with it over time. Don't disappear because there are one or two others still to come. I didn't show these, but I think you've already all seen them um, previously from other videos, but the Daleks themselves don't come like that. They come, they are fully assembled, but they come in these little pods, protective pods, which you can display them in. Um, I've now reached a point where I'm choosing to let them free. Um, and they, the rear side of that, the cardboard side, 
um, illustrates the name of the da of the Dalek and its uh, first appearance, um, or the version. This one's from the uh, Sign of the Daleks. I told you a lie when I told you it was from Victory of the Daleks. I think it's because it's a slightly more metallic hue. Um, that by the time they came back in Asylum of the Daleks, there was I think they they'd, they'd received a little bit of a, a metallic paint makeover. Um, so hopefully there'll be some more of those popping up somewhere. Uh, but yeah, Stolen Earth and Asylum of the Daleks, New Paradigm Drone Dalek, uh, Tenth Doctor and Eleventh Doctor respectively. Nice little boxes, makes them very easy to come, to store in their own boxes. Doctor Who logos are plenty. Um, so yeah, so that's how they're stored. And that's how they they come. Um, I've really enjoyed looking at these. I, I really love the detailing that goes into them. I hope you've liked looking at them as well. Um, now I've completed this range, I am likely to try and do some photo work with all of them. Um, so keep an eye on my um, Instagram page, Time Travelling Toy Collector, um, and you'll uh, follow that and you'll, you'll be able to get a chance to see anything that comes up there. Um, otherwise, thank you for being a fantastic audience. I have been. Uh, the Triple TC, that's the Time Travelling Toy Collector. This has been the Supreme Dalek and the, the New Paradigm Drone Dalek from Doctor Who, courtesy of the now defunct Eagle Moss and Hero Collector Doctor Who figurine collection, wrapping up this journey, more or less, but not completely. Um, and again, thank you for sharing your time with me. I look forward to seeing you in a future or a past video. And for now, all I will say is, a thing of beauty really is a toy forever. Bye-bye for now.